this is such a beautiful season in Cyprus. The weather is just right and our garden is coming to life. And the island is filled with mimosa trees that are in full bloom. And it's that time of the year where somehow the whole island is yellow, just filled with mimosa trees. So you can see them on the side of the road. Uh, and it really, it really is a magical time. Our weeks have been a bit uh, hectic for the past um, month or so. And it usually happens like that, that somehow everything comes at the, at the same time, that all the cousins, they come. It usually comes in, in the summer, that uh, period, but now we had it uh, now in the spring. All the cousins come from UK and from Serbia, and it's just one thing after another. So we've been quite, uh, quite busy. And another reason why we've been so busy is that we are getting ready to go for a um, relatively long uh, holiday. We're, we're going to be away for three weeks. Uh, we're leaving next week and I'm really excited about it. We're gonna go um, We're gonna go for a cruise to see Norwegian fjords. I have never went so that is something really t that I look forward to uh, The cruise is not uh, three weeks. The cruise is about a week and the rest of the time We are going to be in UK because Mario's niece is getting married But apart from that apart from getting ready for the cruise and for the holiday because leaving for three weeks it's quite it's quite a long time there is a lot of things that need to be arranged and taken care of before we leave but apart from that uh, a couple of weeks ago one of our oldest friends and Alex's godfather came from the States after seven years of not seeing him I cannot explain to you how beautiful it was to spend time with him he was here for two weeks and we tried to spend as much time together as we could because he had some other obligations as well. Spend long hours in our garden talking. It was just a really, really special time. And even though we didn't see each other for seven years, although obviously we did stay in touch all the time, it's like we continued where we left off, like no time passed at all. And those seven years that we were not together, they just just went like that. They disappeared and like no time has passed. We went for hiking and uh, it was, it, I know hiking doesn't sound uh, <laughs> like much, but it was very, very special to, to us because that's something we used to do when he was here. And uh, I, I had no idea how out of shape I was. The, the hike uh, really gave me a kick in the butt to start exercising and to start taking care of myself. Up food for everybody. The last time we came here, well, the last time I came here, I carried, Alex was a baby, I carried him on my back. No wonder we're out of shape, I'm out of shape. <laughs> Look at the size of Alex now. So this is, uh, this is one of our oldest and closest friends, Javid. And he's Alex's godfather, and this is the first time he came from the States after seven years ah, to see us. <laughs> godfather, godson, Oreo Susan is Oreo. Nidra? You good? Hmm? You good? Where did you scrape the knee? Hmm? That's not from today. That's from uh, yesterday. From yesterday, Pribble? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, beautiful. I would spin him in circles and he was laying out on the kitchen floor and he would giggle and laugh when I did it. And you dislocated his elbow. And I dislocated his elbow. And in this you day know. and age they would call child services. But he us. asked for it. <laughs> Nobody tells that part of the story. I deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's, a, now he's a young man ready about to go off into life. 17, sure. right? Yeah. Bam. Man, this is some steep, steep trail. Is this where we, where uh, the snake almost attacked Nicola? Somewhere around here. Another break. Because this is beautiful, but I, you can't really understand the scale just like this on the camera. Well, we're gonna carry on walking. Yeah, I think so. 
There's them. There's. Sorry, Ninja. So there's the them, and then right there in the horizon, there's Mediterranean Sea. We're just trying to see where would be a good place to, to fly with the drone. This would certainly be a nice place, but I'm thinking maybe over the dam. And I don't know if they want me to keep on stopping them in the hike so I can just record. Are you tired? Huh? Are you tired? Because I mean, you're... I don't know. I mean, I played like two hours of football yesterday. Yeah. I mean, I could do more. Yeah, he played, uh, he played football for two hours yesterday, so his legs must be hurting. Although, he's the one that is in shape out of the whole family. Yeah. We made it to the Republic of Me. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's awesome. The Republic of Me. I can get used to it. We don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno. You mixed it up. I did, go on and tell me how it is. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> but it was our wedding day, wedding day. There wasn't a single cloud in the sky. No clouds allowed in the sky. Oh, look at it, Lush Karabu. Ah! Lush! Opa, de opa. Where are we going? Don't, don't be scared, don't he'll, be scared. He'll bring it to you. It's yeah. gonna land on you. It's gonna land on you. Ow! Come on. <laughs> Let me see your hair. Talking about taking care of myself, I decided to go to a hairdresser and do something different with my hair. Now, I haven't, I didn't go to a hairdresser for the past. I think the last time I went was like eight or nine years. It's just not something that I do. I tend to give scissors to Mario and say, hey, can you just cut the dead ends off? I still don't have any gray hair that I know of. I think I actually I found one here in the front. So I didn't feel the need. And even when I do have gray hair, I don't know if I'm going to be dying it. But I never really felt the need uh, to kind of color my hair all over. I did when I was younger. I, I had like a period of all shades of uh, red, red hair. But now I thought, okay, you know what? We're going for a cruise. We're going for a holiday. We didn't do something like this for such a long time. I might as well go. And I went two days ago. I was really nervous. But uh, it came out okay. Um, I told him that I want something very, very natural. So we did just uh, the lower part here. The, the top part was left uh, my own color. However, this lower part that we did, it's it's basically how my nat my hair naturally gets uh, during the summer from the sun. So it becomes this kind of uh, wheat color. So I just told him I want something that I know that is that it will go with my uh, skin tone not too much contrast and i think he did a really good job i'm uh, i'm quite um, i'm quite happy with it and i don't know it feels it feels nice it feels nice to after so long to actually do something like that 
um, for myself. I didn't expect how weird it's going to be sitting in front of the mirror for so many hours and kind of being forced to look at yourself uh, for so long. And there is also one uh, part of, um, of the process that nobody really tells you about, scary part where they put foils on your head and you just look like this aluminium monster, you know, there is no grace in it whatsoever. It lasts only for a short while though and then it just gets better. But yeah, so yeah, there's my hair. So I hope you like it. I do. I do. And um, yeah, so that's that. Um, what do I want to say? I actually made the list of the things that I wanna that I wanna talk about. I didn't plan to make this video, uh, but the reason why I made it is uh, that I'm making it is because if next week we are going um, for a three week holiday, by the time we go, by the time we come back, by the time I record uh, another video, I thought it's just going to be too long. But that this way, I can tell you that where we are going, that we are going for a cruise and to UK. So then I can record some footage while we are there and share it to you, with you in the next video. Before I talk to you about uh, some of the knitting that I did, I want to show you, I want to show you something. Do you remember um, one of the vlogmases? I told you that I got a sewing machine and it's a very simple sewing machine, no bells and whistles, um, but singer, but it's a heavy duty machine, which means that it sews thick materials. I didn't work with it yet. Um, I want to, but uh, I didn't work with it yet. I gave it to my mom because she's a very talented sewist and she's the one that is going to be teaching me anyway. So I didn't give it to her as a gift. I gave it to her so it stays in her house so she can learn the machine and then she can, you know, sit down and actually start giving me lessons because I don't even know the basic of sewing. I wouldn't even know how to thread the, how to thread the machine. So she did try the machine and I want to show you the brilliance of her talent. I want to show you what she made me. And this is going to go uh, with me for, a for the cruise and to UK. I'll get up. Look at that. Look at that bag. I don't know about you, but I am in love. This is the weekender size. The bag is empty now, so uh, you can't really see. I mean, you can see, but it looks uh, so much better when the bag is full. This is weekender size, and uh, I think this is upholstery material, and the lower part uh, here, upholstery uh, fabric, and the lower part here is cord. Just look at that. I am in love, I'm really in love, and I really hope that she's gonna teach me how to make uh, things like that. And I'm so proud of her. I This is all her, this is all just from her head. So amazing, amazing talent. And I'm the lucky one. So, so this is going to, uh, to Norway, and uh, we're gonna have suitcases, obviously, but uh, this is going to be a nice, like a extra thing that I can, take with me which if I don't use it it can just fold nicely and go in the suitcase so this is definitely going uh, to Norway and UK with me so proud of her yeah I think I already said that <laughs> um, okay yes the thing that I um, the thing that I finished last is this jumper I think this is my favorite model of the jumper. It's very similar to the one that I showed you last time, the one that was done from my hand spun yarn. So this is um, turtle neck, funnel neck, raglan, relatively skinny sleeves, actually not too skinny. I really, really like this model. And to tell you the truth, I keep on making jumpers like this because the model fits me so well and I like it so much that I don't think I need to look any further and most of my clothes are very simple anyway so I like clean lines not too much um, I don't know how you would call it just very kind of architectural clean 
simple lines that th those are my clothes even when they are store-bought or uh, when I make them so I made this out of uh, drops sky yarn this is the this is the yarn and this is in black color but I'll tell you the composition of the yarn um, it's 74% alpaca, 18% polyamide and 8% wool and it's done as a chain um, cha chain uh, construction of the yarn, let me see so I had I had 8 balls of these, these are 50 gram balls but I used 4.5 for this so it's very soft it's very nice I don't know how warm is it going to be and I don't even know if I need anything warm for this time of the year even though we are going to Norway but it's very gentle on the skin it feels like somebody is just stroking it's really really lovely I used four millimeter needles um, for uh, for this uh, jumper and now what I'm doing I'm making another jumper of the same the same yarn the same uh, model but it's in this um, brown color I hope the, the color comes out well because you can't really even though I'm looking in the screen I don't really know if uh, if the color is uh, accurate but I think it is so uh, I'm making uh, I'm making uh, another jumper now, the same one like this, in this brown color. I don't know if I'm going to finish it before I go. Maybe not, but doesn't really matter. I'm going to leave it here and continue where um, where I stopped when we come back. The jumper that I will take with me, which was a little bit out of my comfort zone when I made it. I made it a couple of months ago. I knitted a couple of months ago and it's um, in this mustard color just give me a sec and the construction I, I made it up I mean uh, so I wanted something that is seamless but not really off the shoulder but kind of a relaxed look here over the shoulders and I was making it up as I went along and it came out uh, it came out nicely because when i thought about this mustard this mustard shade that is the model that i had in mind that i wanted to make and i have knitted it under uh, out of um, one strand of my hand spun merino and one strand of drops alpaca silk in uh, in in mustard uh, in mustard uh, shade so it has a nice kind of um, heathered look And I don't, I don't really have jumpers like this. Most of the jumpers that I told you they're like this. But even this one is quite simple and elegant. And uh, I like it. I do like it. I think with jeans it's going to look really nice. I think this is the one that I'm going to take with me. The Going uh, with the theme, when I was thinking what will I take with me to knit on when, um, during the cruise or... Um, or later on uh, in uh, London when we are at the hotel. My niece's birthday is in July, so she's one of the first uh, birthdays that is coming up as far as um, who I want to knit for. Although Mario is also in July, but uh, for his jumper I would need to follow a schematic of uh, his other jumper as well, so I would need to do a lot of measuring and stuff like that, so that's not what I'm going to take with me. So I thought I'm going to work on Eliana's jumper and last year when uh, I gave her an option for last year's jumper that I knitted her I gave her the option to choose for what color she wants from my hand spun and she went for this darker color even though she loved the mustard color and she really really liked it she said oh but it's not going to be as practical so let me uh, I might as well go for the more practical one because that was the only one that I was going to make so she went for a dark kind of almost black uh, jumper but because she already has that one then I thought this year I'm going to make her one from uh, from this mustard color and this is what I and I plan to take with me uh, so this is the the alpaca silk 
in uh, in mustard color and from my hand span I think that I'm going to alternate these are both kind of mustardy it's just different shades or this is more like old gold and this is more like corn mustard so what I'm probably going to do is hold the strand of alpaca silk throughout and alternate these two every row just to kind of create um, mild heathered effect uh, but this will keep them both together so it doesn't really look like stripes so that's the idea and I think the model that I'm going to make is the model of uh, this jumper that I'm wearing it's it's timeless and I think it it fits everybody just uh, right but I think I'm going to need to use four and a half or five millimeter needles for this possibly four and a half because this jumper that I made that was on four and a half needles so that is the plan of the knitting that I'm going to take and I have spent far too much time thinking about it um, of analyzing what should I take and uh, you know is it going to be enough or not so I'll take this and I'm going to take um, some um, some sock yarn and some mohair because uh, my socks I tend to hold one strand of um, sock yarn and one strand either of my hand spun or of mohair and so I wound, wound on some um, mohair because I have it on cone so I wound out on some that I can take with me and then I'm going to take let's say one or two skeins of uh, of sock yarn um, like that we'll see so if I finish the jumper then I have something else uh, to knit on now the thing is that going to Norway I probably don't need to take this I'm probably going to be buying um, be buying more yarn um, at the end of the day I'll see once uh, once we pack and what we, we are going to do but the ones that I showed you now these are also drops uh, these are drops uh, sock yarn and they are you know they change colors and they're not really self striping maybe you could call them that really nice yarn though but I'll look when I held when I held this with this mohair look at the beautiful um, effect that I got it just kind of softened the stripes now these uh, socks they don't have heels yet what I do I tend to make lots of tubes including the toes and then afterwards just measure where I need to cut in the heel depending on uh, who I'm making it for so I have the measurements of how far from the toe I need to cut in the heel so look how beautiful the effect that it uh, it gives and I think this was this yarn so the mohair just kind of softens it just a tiny bit especially this uh, brownish beige color and it's really nice I use uh, two and a half millimeter needle uh, mi uh, two and a half uh, millimeter needles circular those little ones at the wonder sock wonder I think nine inch ten inch and uh, kind of a DK yarn because I think uh, I think I'm quite a loose knitter so yeah that's what I'm taking it's um, pretty exciting everything I will um, record lots of um, lots of footage when uh, we go I don't think I'm going to take my computer with me. I think Mario is taking his, so I have to see, you know, I have to transfer regularly so I have more space on the camera. And then once we get back, um, show you everything that we saw and uh, hopefully a beautiful time that we had. I don't know how much knitting was <laughs> spinning, for sure I'm not going to have for the next video. Uh, I don't know how much knitting I'm going to have, but I guess there will be lots of beautiful footage of Norway, UK, and I guess even my outfits. I mean, after all, we're going for a cruise. So I hope you're well. Um, all the best to you, and I will see you in uh, the next couple of weeks. Bye for now.